asking of earlier questions, I understand that we failed to notify my right honourable honourable friends, and I apologise to them and to you. Um, in response to my honourable friend's question, pension scheme trustees can consider companies' environmental, social and governance practices, and I am clear that trustees' duties do not require them simply to maximise short-term investment returns. On infrastructure, the autumn statement set out details of a memorandum of understanding signed by the Government with two groups of UK pension funds to support additional investment in UK infrastructure. Dr. Huff. Um, I, I thank the Minister very much for his comments, and he will be aware of the whole range of investments out there which, which give more than just financial, short-term financial return. Uh, the Cambridge Retrofit Programme, for example, launched last week, trying to retrofit every building in Cambridge by 2050. How will he make sure, however, that trustees are aware that their fiduciary duties do not prevent them from doing this? How will he communicate them? Because many of them do seem to be unaware of this. Um, I'm grateful. The pension regulator communicates regularly with trustees and provides a trustee toolkit on his website setting out their duties. But I do think that auto enrolment provides an opportunity for ethical investment. For example, NEST, the National Employment Savings Trust, will specifically have an ethical fund for those who wish to invest in that way. And I hope that his schemes will uh, seek to find investment through that sort of route. Kerry